It's been a day of fun for budding scientists at the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists, hosted by Fitz University. The initiative brings together Gauteng primary and high school pupils to showcase their scientific work. The, ex the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists aims to cultivate and nurture creativity among young minds. Newsroom Africa's Gatla Hosohoto has the story. Young scientists who've presented their work here today say they hope to solve the world's big and small problems through innovative thinking. Uh, my project is about um, solar traffic, solar powered traffic lights. So I think it, it is going to be, it is needful for, for South Africa since we are experiencing a lot of load shading. And during load shading, there, there's a lot of traffic which causes accidents and that leads to, to, to deaths. So having a solar backup power for our traffic lights will help um, reduce traffic and reduce the cause of accidents. Well, I created my project because when I watch documentaries about wildlife, I see a lot of marine life dying, especially turtles, because they get strangled by plastic bags. So I wanted to create a chemical compound that decomposes plastic, but is still eco-friendly. Organizers of the event explained that the initiative is about encouraging learners to think big and that this is not just for the top learners. No, no. There's nothing like a top learner here. This is from the inside. We don't want the A students only. If we get them, we are happy. But if we have those students who are struggling, that is best for us. Yeah. And we are not looking for students from the, you know, the upper level. We want those disadvantaged. Our focus is more on the disadvantaged. One of the judges of the event, Dr. Isaac Boshomani, says he's impressed by the genius minds so many young people possess. If this is anything to go by, South Africa is in a better space. South Africa has the future. Because uh, what we have seen today is just mind-blowing. The young ones are coming up with innovative ways of solving the challenges that they are facing on a daily basis. You'll think they are not even aware of what is happening, but what we have seen throughout is just amazing because they are busy resolving the actual challenges that are there that we see on a daily basis. And their innovative ways are completely mind-blowing. Educators attending alongside learners have expressed their encouragement at seeing young people taking an interest in the sciences. I think one of the things that inspires me the most, whenever I see them, I see the future doctors, the future engineers. So whatever challenges that they're going through, so I see as they're learning care for them. So, so and, and I look at science, for example, as something that's very interesting, that it might be really helpful for them, because they can even change their lives. Some of them, they're coming from the very, the environment they're coming from, it's not even really supportive to them. So that's the reason why I initiated to say, let's come to, to this kind of a competition, because you want them to be exposed. It appears that the kids may just have the solutions to some of the country's most pressing problems. So I enjoy science because when I um, grow up I want to be a doctor um, and I like experiments and stuff. And our project is called Wish Wash Wins and it's basically comparing the liquid and the powder deter detergents to see which one cleans better and which one is more cost effective. It will be exciting to see where the young minds who've invented all sorts of solutions here today find themselves several years from now. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Katla Osohoto in Johannesburg.